I'm Kim Orlando, the founder of TravelingMom.com, and I've asked Chef Art Smith to share an easy recipe with us. Chef Art is a traveling dad, the talent behind Homecoming at Disney Springs and many other restaurants, an award-winning cookbook author, celebrity chef, and a dad of four. Welcome, Chef. What are you going to show us how to make today? Well, today I want to show you, everyone, thank you very much for having me, a very easy late summer salad. And this is something that we've been making all summer. Um, the kids love it. Um, you know, we do it vegetarian today. I'm going to do it with shrimp and it's really, really delicious. And today we're going to do it in style of a, one thing that it was very popular that I did when I worked for the Florida governor, um, Bob Graham, was we used to make something called paya salad. And the reason being was we used to serve thousands and it was something that could be served cold. And, and you would paya is one of those things that you have to serve it right away. So it's not really paya, but it has the flavors and everything, but it's very simple to make. Um, what you're going to do is, you're going to start, you know, for me, um, as a traveling dad, I go in and out of places. I'm here and I kind of throw things together. I just want things that taste good. Most importantly, my kids don't care that I'm a celebrity chef. All they care is that I cook something for them. You know, last night we had steak and potato and, um, and we, we just kind of did that and they loved it. And the night before I made a shepherd's pie and I loved that too. I mean, you find that you know kids are real simple. They, they can be really simple, or they can be also want things real, you know, something really kind of upscale. But my kids like a little everything. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with some Spanish rice that I've already cooked. Okay, and it's just you cook it and you you can let it cool a little bit. But one thing I was going to tell you, if you let it let it if you do it a little bit on the warm side, it absorbs a lot of flavor. So what I do is I add a little white balsamic, about a tablespoon, very nice. And then um, I add a little olive oil. Are you following me? Yes, yes, I'm watching closely. And and and, um, and this is a little, I, I saw this and it's a little orange um, marinade that I thought was kind of cool. You know, it's very popular in um, Spanish and Latin cooking to use sour oranges as ways to marinate. And so we've done that. Now the next thing I want to do is I've got some beautiful Persian cucumbers. This this salad started off as a as a variation on a salad called tabbouleh, and tabbouleh is made with bulgur wheat and has parsley, um, cucumbers, tomatoes, and really delicious light salad. And we live in a very rural part of Florida, North Florida. You know where that is, that that other state, and. Uh, you know, it's, I find it, I find that, you know, many times when I'm cooking, you know, we do all our um, lives here, our healthy comfort lives. And, um, you know, healthy comfort, its whole purpose is to show people that you can be health, healthy and feel good about your comfort. You know, comfort is a word. It just, you know, when we think of comfort, we think of fried chicken and mac and cheese. And I thank God for that. That's my namesake. But the reality is, it's that it could be anything that gives you comfort. Because wherever you are in the world, people have different ideas. So what I've done is, I've taken my cucumber and I, I just I cut it in slices. Now, you're going to say, "Or can I do that a food processor?" No, because what happens is it's going to be very watery, well, and you don't want that. Okay. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. So you hurry that up and put it in the food processor. No. You, you can't you can't do nothing right. and nothing is delicious hurried okay remember that one okay oh. it'll taste hurried okay so um you know just you know with all the times that when you're with your family especially when you don't have the time that you do you want to make sure that they really feel the love okay and um some had a, had a little bit more you can put as much as you want you know um i made the shepherd's pie the other night and my oldest son said, Poppy, I really loved it. But next time, can you make sure you add more vegetables? I said, well, you know, your sisters. And he says, who cares about them? I love vegetables. <laughs> so, um, you know, it, it all depends on um, your, 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 your audience. So add that. You're doing something right if you're asking for more vegetables. Yeah. And um, it gives it a certain crunch and it's really nice and tasty. Um, and uh, it's really super, super, super delicious. 
so I do that. That's pretty good. And um, I'm gonna add all that. And over here, I'm gonna add some tomato. And I'm gonna add some, maybe a little chopped celery. Perfect. Get a few little big pieces in there. So you're all based in Orlando, right? No, that's my name. I was made for travel, I guess. My name is Kim Orlando, but I'm based in the Northeast. And where is that? In Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut. I love Connecticut. Old Mystic and all those great places. So I'm going to add a little bell pepper. Some people don't like bell pepper, so leave that out if you don't want to. And we'll add that. You know, I could have sat here and just had it all chopped up and dumped it in there, but the problem with that is they never believe I'm a chef if I do that. <laughs> you, know, you have to keep the magic in there, you know? So let's add that. And I like a little red bell pepper, just a little bit. And like I said, we're gonna add a little celery. And what I find about a salad like this, you can serve it to kids, you can serve it to adults. Um, it's great because it, it's so easy to serve and, and it serves a lot of people and it's also very economical. Um, you know, remember, people live complicated lives so they don't want their food complicated. So that's something to remember. And just kind of chop that all up. Get some tomatoes in there. Do those. I love I love it because it's very simple. Then I'm gonna just add my tomatoes in there. You know, I find that like, it's like the chopping is also like therapy too. Just be careful that when you're in, your, you're in that meditation place that you don't ch chop anything else off. You know, you have to be real careful. Just be very focused. There we are. But you know, like I've served people from all over the world and I find that the simpler the food, the more enjoyable it is. Add the tomato. So colorful. Okay. It is very colorful and it's really delicious. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some some green olives with a little just a little um, pimento in it. Some people don't like olives, but that's okay. We don't have to speak to them. I'm adding some chopped cilantro. And what I've done is I've taken a shrimp, these are just little shrimp. It was about $5 a bag, and then I marinated them in olive oil and a little of this um, citrus juice marinade from the, from the Latin market. So just add that, okay? And if you notice too, as I'm making it, it's a little bit more cilantro, let's add that in there. You notice that I'm not mixing it all up at once. Reason why is because when you over mix it, it breaks down. So it's better to mix it right at the end and we just take that let's add some fresh lemon juice the fresh lemon juice gives it makes it zesty brightens up the color absolutely delicious perfect okay and then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt. And then I'm gonna add a little more olive oil. I'll have a recipe that you can, you can make. And like I said, you can make it your own. And you, you just take it now and just toss it. Isn't that beautiful? It's really beautiful and simple. I thought you were going to add a lot more spices and flavors and whatever, but it's so fresh. The lemon and the no, salt. no, 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 no. No, the, yeah. no, the, 
No, the rice is, is already seasoned and you've got the marinade in it. This is fine. You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot of flavors like that. That you keep it really clean and simple. What I might add to this is I might add some, some fresh crumbled oregano, which is nice. And, um, and you can also add other kinds of seafood to it. And there you have it. Very, very simple. And we just kind of clean up the bowl. And there you have a wonderful, delicious paella salad, just like that. That truly it is. is healthy comfort. And for a traveling dad like me, this is what you need to eat. And the, fam and the family too. <laughs> that is beautiful. And it's something that actually, if you're traveling with your family and you're staying in a resort or Airbnb or something, you can make that salad. Just go to the local farmer's market and you, mix it up with vegetables, right? Right. Right. Yeah. And just, yes, and make sure you keep it cold in your ice chest with your ice on thing. Be perfect. And they'll yeah. love it. Yeah. Thank you. And we're going to look for more recipes from you on your IGTV series. I noticed that that's a really cool way for us to get into your kitchen more often. Yes, Thanks. thank you. And you can always watch us every Wednesday at four o'clock Eastern time on Instagram on at the Chef Art Smith. Thank you very, very much. Okay. Thanks a lot.